afternoon to everyone. Uh, yeah, for me, it's a dream that, that came true and uh, it's been something that I, I was looking forward to and it's something that kept me going to become a football player, uh, to see myself wearing this shirt. And uh, when it finally came, uh, I think also it came at the right time for me personally. Uh, and when I got here, I, res I got welcomed uh, by the group of, of amazing players and the technical team. And uh, and I think from the first day, I felt home, I felt safe. And uh, till today, I still feel good. And this is the most important thing that also I'm part of the family. I'm part of a team that turned into a family. And this is really good also in a, in a sport to feel at home and to feel like you are inside the family. So for me, it's, it's been amazing so far. And hopefully it will continue like this. And uh, I'm, I'm quite sure also that it will continue like this. Thank you. Taking questions for Mishlali? Mazola, then we'll talk. Mishlali, Mazola from SABC Sports. Do you still recall your, your debut? How, how vividly do you recall that to walk us through? I, sh I think it was the only time I was nervous to play football. I think that was the only day that I was so nervous because, you know, when you are dreaming about something and then you know that there's a possibility of you going out there and lose the opportunity forever. But uh, I also knew that if I do what I was doing before I came here, then there's a chance that I will have another chance and I will do well. And, uh, and yeah, things went well. We won most importantly, and uh, I think we performed well. And uh, from there, and then, just like I said, that I felt at home, I felt good, and I'm looking forward also for, for upcoming games and, and trainings also to improve and, and, and to work hard for the team and, and help the teammates also. So, I want to speak on purpose. Uh, Ali, I think for a number of years we uh, were in Europe, obviously yearning for that opportunity eventually became part of the team now. Um, what's, what's your thinking about the direction that Bafana is taking? Do you get to say that uh, you guys are a team that you know? Yeah, of course, of course, of course, a hundred percent, hundred percent. I think also you can tell with the performances and also maybe when you come to see the trainings that the environment, it's, it's amazing. I think also it's difficult to find this type of environment in football, even in, in club level, you know, to feel at home, to be happy and to see good performances and to play with good players. And uh, and this is what we have here. So I'm quite sure that it will not end here. It will continue. Uh, and there's more to come and there's a lot, a lot of room for improvement. But... Uh, for me, in my opinion, that there is a lot of more to come and only good things, positive things. Is it in Temba? Yeah, we had uh, just the two questions. Um, the, the, the experience of, of playing in the Europa League for you, personally, the second one. I mean, we've seen lately when playing at home is too for my fun. The club is not really there. <clears throat> Please tell us about uh, how does it playing in the crowds there that here, how does it affect you guys? Uh, you, let me start with the crowd. Uh, yeah, of course you will want to play full stadium with your people behind you. Just like when we went to Liberia, we went for a pitch inspection, it was already full already. So we wish for that and we would like to have that. But also I think what's more important also is to continue to do our job. And win the games and, and uh, hopefully that things will turn around you know that's that's but for my side as players that we we really want that to have people in the stadium because you don't want to play in an empty stadium or with the fan against you at home so but also on our side we will just keep on doing our job and uh, win the football matches and that's the most important thing also and for the europa side uh, it's 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 great it's great honestly it's it's great i never imagined that i would be at that stage to play europa it's it's a dream and then when it comes 
into reality, then it's something else, you know. And uh, I'm very happy also to be there, also to take this moment. And for me, the most important thing, I think, is to continue to enjoy, regardless of what happens, good or bad game, but to enjoy the moments and take whatever I take with me. And, and that, that's the most important thing. But so far, I'm quite happy and enjoying myself. Um, how much has it been for you? How much did it take for you to shake off the the, the family chain and be yourself, your own individual, where we see you now representing yourself, not being known as Umshadi, Ndwanaga, so and so? And how much did it, has it taken you to actually uh, be your own brand in the outside world playing in Europe? Yeah, that's why I left South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, for me at the early stage, it, it was really a problem because I was in the shadow of, of someone and uh, and being compared with someone, it's not also nice. And uh, and to me also, at some point, I lost the hunger to play the game because I was being compared, but also I was a little bit young. But when I realized that uh, I have the ability also to do something for myself, and then I, I was looking to move into this space, into another space where nobody knows me, Nobody knows about my family, so I can all, I can also make something for myself. And uh, and I think so far I've been trying my best also to live my own journey and to do my own stuff and to play my own way and not to to try and copy. Of course, we take some good things and uh, and learn from that. But uh, in the beginning, it had a it had an impact in me. But when I grew up. I, I realize also that it's something that will al always be there. I will always be compared. I will not run away from it. I will have to live with it. So, but now it has no no impact at all in me because I've grown into my my own man, and and that was really really important for me to also go into a journey where I will I will I will have my own things and and, and focus on myself. Now. I think we we are very very close. First of all, I speak to him every day, uh, and we have an open relationship, but also with a lot of respect. Uh, regardless of the of the age and uh, but many things that I learned from him is things that he never told me but I've seen them happening into him so I try to avoid them and uh, of course he has a he has a huge role in in my life uh, he has played the father figure and uh, we are very very uh, in good in good communication like in good good way together and we have a strong strong relationship. But uh, many things that is I've learned, they don't come like from his mouth. But it's something that I've picked up also because also I believe that the the best teacher is is learn from the actions, you know. And uh, so that's what I did also. And we are having a good relationship, and that's the most important thing. Let's see, and then September, and then we'll round off. <laughs> Most of the guys in a, in a situation, in a position, you always get told that you go to a small, so called smaller leagues and small clubs in Europe, using then a stepping stone to go to bigger things. Uh, obviously, I, 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 I think that that is still part of the plan for you. You want to, you want to move to bigger things, Champions League, bigger club, and, and all that stuff. And you know, how far are you on that process? Yeah, for sure. I would like to, since I've played, I'm playing the Europa, I would like to play the Champions League. I think also from my team, the goal was to qualify for the Champions League and we qualified for the Europa. So honestly, I would like to, to, to play for the Champions League. But also most importantly, I would like to be where I'm playing, where I'm improving. So I wouldn't want to go somewhere that I would just be there for adding numbers. I would just 
like to be where I will play and keep on improving. Because what makes me happy is to play and improve every time. Uh, so this is the most important thing for me. But Champions League, yes, I would like to play. Some months now, um, head of upcon, you see yourself as one of those who is in a good position to make this one. How do you rate the chance of making a final upcon? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, honestly, uh, there's no guarantees. I believe, I believe, like, there's no guarantees. You have to show it. You have to do your job in order to to end the place. So the the everything now lies on me to perform in order to end the place. Not just to to expect to be there, but also to fight to be there because there are unbelievable players who play in my position. And so I have to also fight for that and compete. So there is no guarantees. So all in all, I don't know if I will be there or not. But I will try my best and fight. For the play. Yeah, Michel, coincidentally, last week I, I, I interviewed a brother, and one of the questions that I asked him was about you. And uh, you spoke glowingly about you uh, investing so much in yourself, that you don't drink, another thing you smoke. One of the things that you mentioned was that you were interested in yourself, you got a personal trainer that you paid from your own pocket. How is discipline? crucial for you to be where you are now and also just an advice in aspiring young players as well yeah what he said is true it's true and uh, i mean it works for me and something that i felt that i needed and uh, and uh, discipline also is, is very key in football regardless of what level i mean also in general discipline is key and uh, because without discipline, there is nothing that will happen. So I'm doing all that I'm doing behind the scenes to make myself good and to feel good and to be in a better position to, to have success. And uh, yeah, for the young guys, it's, it's, it's mentality and, and the discipline to, 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 to seek and go out for your goals and fight for it, you know. That's the only thing I can say. Nobody will bring it to you and and give it to you. And you cannot buy it. You have to fight for it every day. So for me, that's that's all I can say. All right, guys. Thank you so much.